Today we're wrapping up our four-part series on mini medical miracles. This week we've checked out potential breakthroughs in the treatments for baldness, insomnia, and dandruff. Today we end with wrinkles. Could having a new laser treatment in your 40s or 50s prevent you from ever needing a facelift? Here's NBC's chief medical editor, Nancy Snyderman. If the word wrinkles has you rankled and growing old gracefully has got you grumbling, the researchers at Reliant Technologies want you to face your fears. There's no doubt in my mind that this is indeed the biggest breakthrough in uh, wrinkle removal in the last five to ten years. It's called the Fraxel Repair Laser, approved by the FDA last fall. The developers are not out to replace the facelift. They want to get to you before you ever need one. This device is actually going to change the way in which physicians think about treating the skin, rejuvenating the skin. I think if you attack wrinkles, furrows with the Reliant Repair device at this stage when patients are 40 or 50, patients are never going to get the saggy skin that they used to get when they were 50 or 60. What the Fraxel laser does is shrink your skin. This computerized uh, pattern generator will, will actually lay down myriads of tiny dots. And what happens is that each of those tiny dots is actually a column of vaporized tissue, which causes immediate contraction around each column. Very rapid healing. Within a few hours, actually, those vaporized areas have healed up nicely. But how does it differ from other laser treatments like the carbon dioxide laser? That really fell out of favor because of the persistent redness and swelling and potential for scarring and pregnant problems. With this device, you simply don't get those, those problems at all. Total downtime? With this technique, you're in the uh, physician's office. It takes about an hour. It's probably two or three or maybe four days downtime. You'll still have some redness and swelling afterwards. You can probably put some makeup on. But essentially, you're back to work within five or six days. Dr. Nancy Snyderman joins us now. Hey, Nancy, good morning. Hi, Matt. They're you winced. Boring little <laughs> tiny columns in your skin, and then those skin columns shrink up. Is yeah, that but it? The, co the column is a tenth of the diameter of a hair follicle. That's how small it is. But can they accurately control the contraction here? I mean, you're going to have some people who end up with that real facelift well, look on one side and not so why, much on the other. That's why this is interesting because, you know, that people hate that sort of pinched look where you can see, you know, your cheekbone and it looks like you have saran wrap on your face. This is really intended for the 40 to 50 year old who doesn't have that really sagging skin yet. It's really a preemptive strike against a facelift. Can you use it, though, for people who have more defined wrinkles and furrows, as he mentioned? You can. You're not going to get the same result, I suspect, if you have a 65-year-old woman who already has really crepey skin versus a 45- or 50-year-old woman. Crepey. Crepey. Okay, go ahead. You didn't mispronounce sorry, something there, no, did you? No, that's a doctor okay. term. Okay, good. Crepey skin. <laughs> and are you going to need to repeat this every four or five years? Uh, you're probably going to have to do it every five to ten. It costs three to $5,000. It appears very safe. Laser technology has now been around around for a long time and very vetted. This just came out though and FDA approved. It's being presented at the big dermatology meeting in San Antonio right now. This is going to be in your doctor's office soon. What will be interesting is to see how many dermatologists have that credit card to pay for this up front and how long it's going to take them to pay it off. This isn't cheap technology, but it works. All right. Well, listen, it's, it's interesting. I mean, and anything that keeps people away from the knife, I mean, that's major I surgery. Think you can say to people, this is a preemptive strike and it's taking care of your skin and you can avoid a real operation. There will be a lot of people, men and women, who will be interested. And, and no side effects known at this Redness point. Redness for a few days and that's it. Very it's safe. A typical weekend. Yeah, exactly. Get punched right. by the kids. Yeah, Nancy, thanks very much. Good to see you. And we come back to First Lady Laura Bush.